It is Men's Health Week, and with Father's Day coming up this Sunday, what better way to show Dad how much you care than by trying to make sure that he is taking care of his own health. And for that, of course, we're joined by Nine News medical expert Dr. Camilla Sass. And so let's talk about dads, men in general. Let's talk about it by age group. Men in their 20s and 30s, what are some of the things that is most important from a health standpoint for these men to be thinking about? You know, I think the 20s and 30s are always really important because that's when you start thinking about your heart health and your brain health. So okay. that's, you want to make sure you're getting your kind of basic screenings at that time. So that's your blood pressure every two years, your cholesterol every five years, and then of course diabetes as well. And then obviously sexually transmitted infections are obviously a big risk factor right now at this time frame too. So that's another important thing that you have to talk about with your primary care doctor. Is it harder men in their 20s and 30s? Because they probably think they're pretty healthy. Uh, invincible, I think, is the yeah. term. And, and <laughs> it's not just men. Right. It's actually men and women, I think, right? right? You, we all think we're imp invincible. But we, we have a lot of research to show that all of that heart health, all that brain health starts really a lot younger than we really even recognize. And so that's why we do those screenings earlier. It's probably like saving money. The sooner you start, the better mm -hmm. off you are. Prevention works. Yeah. It's amazing. Let's talk about <laughs> so. men in their 40s and yeah. 50s. I imagine at this point, you're starting to become aware that you are aging a little bit. There's a little bit of that mortality, right? That's right. what's kicking in, I think, even for all of us in our 40s and 50s. But, you know, I think the big thing here is, again, you're going to be doing all of your basic screens, so that heart health stuff is going to be important still. So you're still checking, now you're checking your blood pressure every year, you're doing that cholesterol every five years, you're adding some diabetes screening at about 45 years old, and then prostate cancer screening at 45 if you're a high-risk patient person. So that's a little bit different. I was going to say prostate cancer screening and then the colon cancer mm -hmm. screening, and colonoscopies and the like, those are ages where we see them now, but are those ages falling a bit? Like are we going to start asking men to get those checks sooner? They are. You know, I think that's really the interesting thing, especially with colon cancer. There's actually some, some groups now that are recommending 45 as a right. starting age. And so there's a lot of different types of tests, whether you're doing the colonoscopy, whether you're doing the, the stool sample test. Um, there's a, a, a few different ways that you can do it and the frequency varies by the type of testing. The prostate cancer thing, though, to remember is if you're African American or if you've had a family member who's had prostate cancer early, so before the age of 65, that's going to be a good reason to, to get tested a little bit early. Let's get to men in their 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. What are the screenings that men need there? Yeah, you know, I think the big thing here again is now we're still focusing on that brain health, the heart health, mm -hmm. so that's the blood pressure, that cholesterol, that diabetes. The basics diabetes. are still there. Yeah, always going to be there for sure. But then we're also adding in some ultrasound to look for abdominal aortic aneurysm, so that's the enlargement of that big blood vessel in the, in the belly. Um, that can be a risk factor, especially for, for men who are smokers. Lung cancer, again, if you've been ever been a smoker, that can be a screen that you may need. And then bone density testing, even starting at 70 years old for men as well. What happens in your 60s and 70s? Are there some screenings that you have been doing that you no longer need to do? Yeah, you know, it's a little bit controversial, and I think that's why it's so important for folks to really talk to their primary care providers about this. So there's actually a lot of good data to say prostate cancer screening actually could stop mm -hmm. potentially at the age of 70. Same with um, colon cancer screening as well as we get into our 70s. So something to think about for folks. Make sure you talk about it. Sometimes the, there could be actually more harm from screening than actually the benefit for sure. Well, uh, obviously it's Men's Health Week, but uh, every week should be Men's Health Week. But it, it's a good reminder to use Father's Day, much like we use uh, the changing time to put batteries in our in our smoke detectors and like with that. Use, use Father's Day as a reason to think about it. It might be that one time of year. Yeah. <laughs> right? Where you get to sort of say, hey, Dad, have you done your screenings? Have you really taken care of your health? And then also sometimes it's a good time just to sort of think about it as a family since a lot of these things run in families as well. Thanks, Camilla. It's always good to see you. Happy Father's Thank Day. Thank you very right? much. Have I appreciate a great, it. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> yes. All right, Kim. <laughs>